Well, I'm joined now by Wendy Alexander. Um, Luke, first of all, when you say you consider bringing forward a bill to have a referendum in the Scottish Parliament, what exactly do you mean? Well, what I've been doing over recent weeks and months is listening to people in, in Scotland. And I think there is a sense that we have a government that alleges that there is majority support for independence. And we're saying to them, let the people have their say on this matter. Right, but I, I come back to my question. When you say... I mean, will you bring forward a bill in the Scottish Parliament? Well, I said today that I wanted to talk to colleagues, I wanted to talk to opposition parties. What I think people perhaps are not fully appraised of is the, the intricacies of the Scottish Parliament. And the SNP are alleging that they will bring forward a bill in 2010 and have the vote in 2010. And the issue that I pointed to today is that's frankly not likely to be possible because the procedures of the Scottish Parliament require you discuss it for nine months. So even if they brought it in in January, that would take us to November and we'd be into 2011 and just a few weeks before the next Scottish Parliament election. And the point I'm making is that this uncertainty has been around for more than 30 years. We've listened to people. People feel they have the right to make a choice. And it's frankly wrong uh, to leave this until 2011, given the uncertainty right. that we have around it. So what exactly is it you're proposing to do? Well, the first thing that I've suggested is that we go start holding the SNP to account. I don't think it's as appropriate for Labour to sit in its hands when a bill comes before the Scottish Parliament. So the first thing we're looking for from the SNP is a timetable and we're serving notice on the SNP that we're not going to leave the timing, the question, the issue to them. Right, so what, what do they have to fail to do before you bring forward your bill? You go to them and you say, we want a referendum when? Well, Within a year? The absurdity of the SNP's position... No, but when do you want a referendum to be held? Well, as I say, the procedures of the Scottish Parliament mean that it would take at least a year for the issue to be considered. But if you look at what's happened so, so in recent no, weeks... Hang on, I just want to get this clear. Are, are you saying you want a referendum to be held within a year, within 18 months? I've said that I think it is wholly unacceptable to see this issue continue to drift through this Parliament and into the next one. And in that, I think I'm reflecting the evidence that we've sure, seen so, so from I, I polls, ask you again. So, so what are you saying? business people. I'm saying that I would like to see this issue resolved in this Parliament, and Labour will not stand aside from that. Right, so if, if Alex Salmon comes to you and says, that, all right, then I said 2011 or whatever, I'll come, we'll have one in before the end of the Scottish Parliament, we'll have it in 2010. That's OK, is it? Well, what we've seen from the SNP is they haven't brought forward no, but if they the do. bill. They're not prepared no, but if to they do the, do that, discuss you'd be happy the question. With that, would you? Well, I think we would have differences of views as to what the question should be, how it well, should no, no, be no, run. But I'm talking about the timing. You'd be happy with that. What I have done today is make clear that I don't believe that the Labour Party should be denying people a choice. I don't for a moment doubt where opinion in Scotland lies. And I'm saying to the SNP, you appear to be running scared of your own policy. You say Scotland supports independence, but you will not bring forward a right. timetable. But I'm still not clear. Are you saying that if Alex Salmon comes to you and says, all right, look, I said 2011, given that I, you are now my ally, I'm quite happy to compromise with you. We'll have a referendum in 2010. Is that acceptable to you? Well, let's hear what... Let's hear what no, he has I, I to say. Well, I'm saying that, I, what, is, what is unacceptable from the SNP is to claim, as they do constantly at home and abroad, that there is majority support from independence from right. the people of Scotland, but, 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 the, but the, be unprepared the, the to point test is, when, it. when you said bring it on, you don't really mean within 12 months, you now seem to be saying. You, you don't seem to be saying anything. No, actually. well, what I, was, what I was pointing to is that the SNP cannot claim as Alex Salmon did, what, what that he will bring forward be? a bill in 2010 and have a referendum right. in 2010. Okay. So and when, that essential dishonesty from Scottish, right. the Scottish government needs to be dealt with. you don't know when you would like to hold to a referendum. My own view is that the uncertainty is damaging. We should get on with the issue. I acknowledge the fact that within the Scottish Parliament that would take at least 12 months because of the controversial nature of the proposal. So ideally but in a year's time. it's important that it is resolved. Right. Ideally in a year's time, that's what you're saying. I would like to see the issue resolved. Right, OK. Um, do you want a straight yes or no referendum? The SNP has said that's their preference, and I think there is great merit in having a simple choice. I think there were many people, business in particular, who were frankly outraged by the suggestion from the First Minister a month ago that uh, you didn't need a majority to take Scotland outside of right, the but, United but Kingdom. What if your Calman Commission comes up with quite radical constitutional reform proposals that 
would themselves need to be put to a referendum? Well, my view is, and I think most people would feel this, that a decision to leave the United Kingdom after 300 years is of a totally different order to saying we think the devolution but, but, settlement but, needs to but, be But why is giving people at? a choice between independence, status quo and whatever your commission comes up with, more powers to the Scottish Parliament, why is that such a bad idea? Well, I don't think there's any appetite for fancy franchises or majority votes. I think people no, no, want no, the even chance if it's done a to express choice. their view. Well, I think people do want to have the chance to express their view on the future of the union. If you look at the evidence, you know, we've had the SNP saying 88% of people want a choice. What I'm signalling is that the Labour Party doesn't doubt for a moment what the choice of the Scottish people will be, and they should have the chance to speak on this issue. Right. Is it true that Gordon Brown doesn't want this to happen? No, I've had many discussions with, with Gordon Brown on, on this issue. When I should did be you clear last discuss it with him? Uh, this evening. Uh, and what did he say? Well, I, what I'm making clear to you is that throughout this process, we are exposing both north and south of the border, the SNP, who yes, are I, falsely I, alleging... No, you've, you've told us all about the SNP. I'm asking you whether... Whether Gordon Brown endorses your position? Yes, because I am not. Yes, I am not. Sorry, is it, you yes, saying yes, yes, he is just endorsing? Heard on, national, on National News Night, Gordon Brown has made clear that he thinks the SNP should be harried in the Scottish Parliament as to why they are pushing this issue to 2010 yes, or indeed quite 2011. Ask you. Is, is, is Gordon Brown endorsing your decision to call for a referendum? Yes. He is endorsing yes. it, and he has told you that? Yes. So any suggestions? that you've bounced him into this, are wrong. Yes, I am not there. They're wrong. I'm not asking Westminster to deal with this issue. I'm saying that in Scotland, the SNP right, okay. are saying they don't want to deal right. with this issue. We're running out and of time. And we're saying Briefly, we would like the issue dealt with. What I've been slightly baffled with watching you over the last few days is you don't appear to come up with any explanation as to why you've changed your mind on this. Well, as I think has been apparent... I've listened to people in Scotland. It's been my own view for a very long while. I think the but, important thing is... But we just is, saw you saying the opposite. Yes. You were sitting here watching it. Yes, and as I've said, I've listened to, to people. I think part of the duty of leadership is to take people with you. And as you saw today at the Labour Group, so, so I think so, we're so now the at the point... Is what, the, the, we're now, well, there, let me make well, this clear. Why now? Because I think there are various reasons. One of which is I think there is more and more people who are persuaded of this. But let me give you three reasons in the last one. I don't have a time for three reasons. Okay, give well, us one, one, give us one the, big reason. Business wants it, the people want it, Civic Scotland want their chance to have their say, they should be given it. All right, Wendy Alexander, thanks very much indeed. Quick look at tomorrow's front pages, all dominated by um, the woman we've just been talking to, actually. Um, the Scotsman, Brown leaves the future of the Union Wendy's hands, reckoned the Scotsman. Um, the Guardian... It says, Brown faces new threats to the stories. He says, Wendy Alexander had been pressing Gordon Brown for months to push for a referendum. And uh, that's all we've got time for tonight. If you want to see this programme ag again, I'm delighted to say it's now on the famous BBC iPlayer. More news is always on BBC Scotland's website. I'm back tomorrow. Good night.